The first thing you're going to want to do is judge my background. That's okay, I'll let you do that. I'm still working on it. The second thing you're going to want to do is learn the differences in the range DPS class for Final Fantasy XIV. Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash and today I have another Final Fantasy comparison guide for you. I did this with my healing in 2021 video and you guys really liked it, so I'm going to go through each group of classes and break down the differences between each. Again, this is not a damage guide or a rotation guide, just the differences between each job's job skills and specifics of that class in order for you to get a basic overview of each job to make sure you make the best decision on which one you want to start with or level up next. If at any time you get value out of this video, then limit break 3 and smash that subscribe button down below. These are my opinions and yours might differ, and that's your business if they do. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. First up, Bard. Starts at level 1, support role, and damage over time and procs. Bard focuses on damage over time skills, Venomous Bite, and Wind Bite. These two skills become the center of your rotation and also proc many of the extra effects that your later skills have. By the way, proc just means to activate if some people never understood that. Bard also offers some healing potency boosting as well as some damage reduction for the entire party. The job specific skills as you can guess are songs. You have three songs that you'll rotate through once obtained with all of their own special bonuses for you and the party. These range from party bonuses of critical hit, direct hit, or increase in damage to extra battle skill procs for yourself. Next up, Machinist, or Machinist, whichever you prefer, I'll be saying Machinist for this video, don't at me in the comment section if I'm saying it wrong. Unlocked at level 30 in Heaven's Ward, quick rotations and high damage. Machinist is a high damage, fast paced phases of damage, you use a gun to deliver pew pew to the enemies. In my opinion, Machinist is not hard in theory, but keeping up the button work at first was a little difficult for me. Job specific skills are Heat Blast and Battery Gauge. The Heat Blast Gauge offers big damage windows with lowering cooldown timers for two specific skills and unleashing the heat on your single target enemies, at later levels offering an AoE version as well. Battery Gauge is for your Rook Auto Turret, which is just a damage over time skill, later evolving into Queen Automaton for even bigger damage over time. And last but certainly not least is the Dancer. Unlocked at level 60 in Limsa Lominza, huge player support, prox, 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 and damage window. I would say the main focus of this job is prox. This means to say that you have four single target skills and four AoE target skills. There is no set rotation or damage guide since you're at the mercy of your RNG. That being said, understanding the guidelines to this job will help you maximize your damage when you have the right conditions. You are working on a 50% RNG for your main GCD skills. Your job specific skills are standard step and technical step. This allows your four main single target GCDs to turn into dance steps. Once performed, just by clicking the right order of steps, you can perform standard step which allows a whopping 1000 potency damage every 30 seconds on top of boosting you and your dance partner damage for 60 seconds. Talk about supporting the party. Now that we covered the general basics, let's go over the level threshold breakdowns. I'm going to be talking about what you could be focusing on on each chunk of leveling content in order to highlight the similarities and differences between each range DPS. Level 50 and below. This is pretty much the foundation for each job. Bard. You'll be focusing on dotting each enemy as this becomes the basis of your skills and songs at later levels. Honestly, Bard is really slow at this point in the game. You might get a little frustrated here as you don't have access to a lot of your toolkit at all and it's pretty much like dotting each enemy and then spam your heavy shot or AoE skill quick knot. Nothing really exciting but keep your chin up until later content. Some people might even find it relaxing that there's not a lot going on at first to allow you to get control of the job and enjoying the content. You should be using AoEs on two or more enemies with Bard. Make sure to be in melee range as this does not have a long radius. Machinist. Even at these lower levels, Machinist has a lot to offer in my opinion. You have one of your main skills that is crucial in later levels, Goss Round. You'll want to focus on using Goss Round in between each GCD. You get another skill a little later on to weave into your GCDs as well, so get used to weaving with Machinist or you'll be losing out on some huge DPS. 
You should be using AoE on two or more enemies as well with Machinus. Again, be in melee range for AoE, single target is ranged. Dancer. You won't be really using Dancer in 30 or under content unless you're using the leveling roulette. We will go over it either way. You have standard step at this moment. The main takeaway here is getting used to keeping standard steps on cooldown since it's your biggest potency damage skill as well as damage boost for your skills. Other than that, it's just business as usual using your GCDs and procs when they appear. You should be using AoE on two more enemies. Be in melee range for AoE damage as well. Single targets are the only attacks that are ranged. Level 50 content. Since this is where a lot of content sinks for trials and other dungeons, this will be the foundation for a lot of your DPS with having a lot of the toolkit at the point for two out of three of these jobs. Bard. Unfortunately, this is the one job where you don't have your full toolkit yet, which really downplays this job. Honestly, Bard is still a little slow at this point, but I promise you once you get your toolkit and your quality of life skills later, Bard is a ton of fun to play. You just go back and forth between two songs you do have and provide support. You have a few good damage windows with Mage's Ballad, one of your songs that can proc the cooldown of Bloodletter, which is a single target, or Reign of Death, which is an AoE. It can be a little exciting to get a few procs in a row, but this will be dramatically increased at later levels. Machinist. Now we're talking. We have our last few skills that give us the basis of our rotation that make this job so much fun. Between Heat Blast and Wildfire, we are piling out tons of damage. This is where you really want to spend the majority time learning your rotation and the guidelines. It is not hard by any means, it's just a lot of button pressing, similar to Monk. I'm also going to do a melee DPS video as well, so if you like this kind of video, make sure to comment down below and see which job you want me to do for the melee DPS. Heat Blast is pretty much your huge damage window as it provides a cooldown to Goss Round and Ricochet Round by 15 seconds. As you can imagine, gaining heat is very important and becomes way easier at later levels. Honestly, there's very few times I see Machinus low on the aggro list. They usually sit between 2 or 4 almost every time I run content with one, or play as one. Dancer. You technically have the majority of your toolkit by this time. You get used to switching back and forth between single target and AoE depending on the amount of enemies. I would say this job is the easiest for switching back and forth as the procs don't go away immediately if you don't use them. Again, also keeping standard step on cooldown. The really super fun part about dancers is that there's no set rotation since your skills are RNG based. Eventually, you'll work up to stocking everything, use your damage buffs, and release everything in a fast quick damage window. For now, you're just getting used to using your procs as they come up, really increasing your damage, for example, using Cascade and then proccing Fountain, instead of using Fountain independently. Fountain independently is only 100 potency. Fountain procced is 300 potency. You can see that you can lose a lot of DPS if you don't use your procs. 50 to end game cap. I'm going to talk mostly about level 80 here is that the current cap and I will update this video as the cap moves. This is where the jobs truly come into their own. Bard. Now we're cooking with gas. Bard at the end game cap is super fun to play. It is a little tedious to get to this point, I will admit, but once you're here and you have your three songs and your cooldowns unlocked, honestly, it's tons of fun. It's a little similar to Dancer with procs, but kind of in a different way. Your two damage skill procs, your benefits for each song. For AoE, honestly, it's a riot when you dot multiple enemies and unleash your AoE skills. Sometimes I even out damage a Black Mage or Samurai or other high damage jobs due to the sheer proc rate of Bard's AoE skills. Not only that, manage your songs, buff for your party, you truly feel the job's intended purpose for being support while also providing damage. Machinist. Higher damage, fast pace, and good old fashioned fun. Not much has changed in terms of single target rotation, just upgrades to the skills with more damage. You also have a really awesome AoE set to use with Heat Blast that can really put out a ton of damage. AoE over time skill Bio Blaster and the cool new Automaton Queen you get, which is a robot you always see around at the end game content during battles. Also, Flamethrower. This skill is so freaking cool looking, need I say more. Honestly, Machinus just feels like an amazing job where you're just continually unleashing damage constantly and it is so much fun to play at endgame content. With some other jobs, you kind of have slow times in between, 
but with Machinist, I always feel like I'm going at 100%. So if you like that kind of thing, you're really gonna enjoy Machinist. Dancer, you have your two steps that do big damage. All of your support skills for your party's defense and offense and huge damage boost to one person your dance partner with. Usually one of the higher DPS jobs, which really makes this a difference, especially if they know their rotation well. You also have all your skills for your huge damage windows when you're buffed the most. You have your fourfold feather to unleash, which can also proc fan dance as well as saber dance you can use when your a spirit god is full, which is just really filled by you or your dance partner using skills. Dancer has a medium pace for me at the end of the game where I feel like I'm using the skills and it's moving along and then it's really quick and then goes back to medium. Honestly, when I was first creating this video, I chose Dancer as my main for a long time, but after learning the rotations and playing endgame content with each of these ranged DPS, I like all of them now for different reasons. Bard does truly feel like I'm supporting the party and also keeping up the procs and usage of cooldowns. Machinus just feels like I'm going at 100% all the time and you just feel powerful and fast paced. While for Dancer, I really feel like I get the party support and not having a rotation is actually pretty nice and just kind of building everything up and unleashing everything in huge damage windows. Comment down below on your favorite job and why and I'll pin my favorite one. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope that I was able to provide just a little bit more general information for each job so you know what to generally expect when choosing that job. I want to thank everyone for the support up till now and can't wait to keep creating videos for you guys. If you have any recommendations for videos you'd like me to create then leave a comment down below. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials, then you can click here.